In this video, we will be taking apart a BLED car lens. It's something that I wanted to test for a long time. This will be a very good alternative to those LED laser lenses that I'm already running on my car. Built wise, these lenses are becoming better and better. Their packing is also becoming more and more refined. And comparing these products with more more expensive products you are tempted of saying that uh, these manufacturers are coming quite quite close to the more expensive options this particular lens will feature led on the low beam led on the high beam and it also has a very strange construction it will have a very powerful additional LED for the high beam this is the lens and now we will follow with the breakdown with taking everything apart and seeing what we have inside to remove this lens cover we will need a Phillips head and small torques for later use on the reflector and also on the fan very interesting construction for this lens now the things are getting more interesting this is the first time when I see this type of LED used I've already tested the lens and it's a bit strange it has a particular thing to it the light output is yellow it will be a square high intensity um, area for the high beam but it is properly yellow it has a separate wire that it needs to be energized with and it's um, it's, it's something interesting we're gonna take it apart completely and after that see if we have any other interesting bits to find inside let's first get the back bit off although in the beginning I was very skeptic about these LED lenses now I am running such a product on my car and I am really considering them as a better option for xenons they will be more compact and because you are fitting a new lens projector the image is much much clearer This is the electronic board. Let's take apart the fan. I'm very curious to see inside what LED chip they are using. And also I'm curious to see if they have a separate LED besides that big one for the high beam. I've noticed that on this lens, if you power or you could power separately all different stages of the light so your main beam you'll be able to power something that is a high beam and also separately you're able to power this additional LED ZS DC fan DC brushless fan let's get rid of the shutter all the components seem very well built 
this is the shutter assembly. Now we're getting closer to our LEDs. This top big one will be removed next. We'll need a T10. This is a very interesting LED. Quite a big heat sink. Thermal conducting paste on the top. As we would expect, or as we have noticed it on many other lenses, the reflector is made out of plastic. This is the same thing on those Osram lenses that we have taken apart a few weeks ago. And I remember taking apart some lenses for other cars. And they are the same, they're made out of plastic. This is the LED that powers the lens. By the looks of it, we're keeping with the same format. It's a six cell high power LED. It's something that I've noticed on many other lenses and kind of all of these LED lenses will be featuring such a thing. And if we continue to look on the inside of this lens, we have the main LED for the low beam and here underneath we have the LED for the high beam. It has its own reflector and at this point in time I don't see it as being really really needed for me to go any further with the stripping. This is one solid piece of aluminium machined or I would be tempted of saying that first it is injected and a very small amount of it it is machined. And for sure it acts like a heat sink for our LEDs. Now let's go through the steps to reassemble everything and hopefully you will have an idea of how this lens is built and if you want to install such a thing or not. This one is fitted first, followed by our LED. Okay, reassembly. We start with the top high power LED. We make sure that that aluminium foil is in place and also that everything is aligned properly. I've noticed that it has some thermal conducting paste. Make sure that you don't get it on your fingers and you spread it after that everywhere because I've moved that aluminium plate I'm pushing it as much as I can back in place we are going to secure the rear screws and we thread the wire to underneath so that when we, so that when we will connect the electronic board, everything is in the right place. We continue with the plastic reflector. It has two centering pins further in the back. Those two. And our screws. Move left to right to make sure that everything is sitting in the right position. Let's refit the shutter. But before refitting the shutter, we make sure that this is sitting in the right place. What is the right place? Shutter, shutter on the wall. Who's the nicest shutter of them all? First, we will secure in place the shutter.
the wires are threaded towards the back so that we will be able to connect to the main board our fan at this point in time I really hope that they can connect only in one way because if they're able to be connected in multiple ways I might be in trouble so first you connect the left side and after that the two connectors on the right side thread in the wire wiggle the things a little bit let's power it without fitting the front lens and see what's happening we are powering our lens and on this power supply that measures also the power usage I'm able to see 44 watt for the low beam as discussed in the video we have an additional LED for the high beam so we'll have the shutter that engages allowing for more light to be used from the low beam and the additional LED power usage for that setup is 53 watt and on top of this if we connect the additional LED this yellow one we are reaching 66 watt of power used it's quite an interesting setup it's quite an interesting lens this yellow LED the one that is on the top bit of the lens can be used separately from the other bits I was playing around with it and if you see the low beam is off but I'm still able to start this LED power usage for this one separately uh, 13, 13 watts it will be quite interesting to see how you you can connect this one all sorts of interesting setups might be available also it might be interesting to see how the different colors combine between each other how the light output will be with this yellow LED this being said I hope that you enjoyed this video I'll be refitting the lens and in a future video I will be comparing all the lenses somewhere outside doing some measurements and doing some pictures to be able to gauge the difference in quality for the light.